hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to just be redoing my duck nails um i already went ahead and refilled them this is the set that i'm going to be doing and i got inspired by a girl named stiletto in a coffin on instagram um she is really really talented and her denim duck nail set went viral um she did do a tutorial as well so go ahead and get into it so we already went ahead and refilled with a 76 nails bubble pink and i am going in with this it's kind of like a cover pink um just to get that pink a little bit more dark but not too dark i needed one more shade darker so i am just going in with a layer of this pink um on my nails and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I did get this color from Amazon. It came in like a pack of five or six, I believe. I will go ahead and link that down below for you guys. Um, I don't have a code or anything. That's something that I bought with my own money. So I will go ahead and be sure to link it down below for you guys if you guys want to get this color. So it's not that much of a drastic change, but um, it's a little bit darker and this color is actually really, really cute. I probably would wear my nails just plain on my other hand because I think that now I want to do my duck series. So I am just going to go ahead and do a full set on both of my hands instead of having one hand this way, one hand that way. For all of you people that don't love duck nails, I am sorry, but I am going to go ahead and do um, what I can because I do have a lot of designs that I want to do. Anyways, before I dump all of this on you guys, I am just mixing. I'm using the color theory. Um, I am just mixing a blue, like a darker blue and a black together to get a dark jean color um and then i will go ahead and dab a little bit of a lighter blue in there because this was way too dark um it was just too dark you guys i, I wasn't going for a dark denim i wanted a multi-dimensional color so i did go ahead and mix more colors i did add white as well to lighten it up a little bit but um you guys can do whatever color blues you want i really think that as long as you um make it look denim like like add all of the extra things that you need to add to make it look like denim then i think that you will be able to use any color blue in my opinion um i did want to try a lighter um type of denim set as well to see if it would come out differently um but i am now just mixing the lighter part of the blue for the denim and this has more white um i did not add that much black as you can see it looks the same color but i am gonna keep adding as i go um so yeah, just mix as you see fit. Add however much color you want um, to get the blue that you want. I kind of went off of what I saw, but then I also went off of what I wanted. So this is the colors that I got. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on to the nails. Um, I did I didn't have to put a top coat on the nails. Um, normally when I'm doing nail art, I do put a top coat so that it's easier for me to wipe off. But because I put that um, layer of cover pink on, it it's doing me justice. Um, you guys don't have to. As long as you buff your nails, I think that you will be fine. But I prefer to put a top coat most of the time. Um, but I am just going in between that dark blue and that light blue. And then I'm just dabbing it um, in the places that I would want it to be. And I'm just trying to make it look like denim, you guys. So just go ahead and lay it out how you want to. Um, also, 
if my tutorial is not good enough for you guys, um, you guys can still go to Stiletto in a Coffin. Um, that's her Instagram. She did a tutorial. It was straight to the point. Um, it's obviously going to be a little bit longer when you're watching my video because I'm keeping it in real time. I'm not going too fast and I am doing all of my nails instead of some of them. So I am just going to go ahead and lay these blues onto these nails and then I am just going to go ahead and go back in with white to make it look more um, mostly dimensional, different colors. I think that that's what's going to make it look more like denim when you add those different dimensions, the dark blue, the light blue, the white, the trim, all of that like that is what brings all of this um set together so i am just gonna let you guys watch me do this i am gonna hop in here and there but if you guys have not already please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time i post a new video if you are new hey boo welcome to the channel and please share this video to someone who might like it Thank you, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I know that I have been slacking on uploading, but I have been making videos. I just hate editing now. It's very, very time-consuming, and I just wish I had someone that could edit my own videos. So, yeah, eventually, once I am up there, you know, I'm probably going to pay for somebody to do my edits because... That is the part that is the most dreadful, it's the most annoying, and that is the only reason my videos are not posted. Because I have about five to six videos recorded right now, and I just have not posted any because the editing, it just makes me so tired, you guys. Seriously.
So here's how the nails are looking. As you can see, that light blue and that dark blue is mixing perfectly together. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with a full cure. And now I'm going in with the white to make this even more multi-dimensional. I hope that you guys are staying along with me. I am using a um a what do you call this? Whatever, a beauty blender. Yes, I'm using a beauty blender. And I'm just tapping that white out into different places and then blending it out. So, um, yeah, it kind of gives it like an acid wash color, if that makes sense. It's giving acid wash for sure. So in the nail set, she did the ripped jeans on two nails. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just taking my liner brush and I'm just putting some white and I'm just like swiping it across where I didn't put the blue. Um, that's acting as skin. So yeah, I'm just going in with that white and then anything that's like too harsh like to like define i am just gonna go ahead and go in with my beauty blender to blend it out around the um edges where it's overlapping from the white into the blue um i hope that made sense but it kind of really doesn't matter because i am going to add some jean fabric from a jacket that i had I did cut some actual jean fabric off and I am going to go ahead and put that on the nails as well. So it's not going to make a difference, but as you can see, I am blending it out a little bit. So after curing that, portion of the set now i am going in with the liner brush and some white gel polish again but now i'm just doing the trim to make it look more jean like um this part is pretty self-explanatory so i am just going to hop back out i hope you guys are enjoying this and please don't forget to like if you haven't already
So this set is coming together really, really well. Um, I went ahead and cured in the lamp for about 30 seconds. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go in after curing with some matte top coat. Um, I did add the matte top coat first before putting on the nail art just because I have no idea. <laughs> I think I wanted to see how they looked, if they looked right shiny or matte. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. I went ahead and went with the matte, but the shiny top coat doesn't look too bad either. But for the aesthetic, I think that the matte is what brought it together. <laughs> So, um, I did not do much of the nail art, like the charms and stuff on camera, but I am showing you guys how I did the denim, laying down the denim. Um, so I did use, this is nail glue from a cart, but the glue kept getting stuck to the tweezers that I was using. So I did have to go in with some rhinestone glue first. And then like any access, any extra like denim that I wanted to add it, I did use that um, first layer of denim as a base to put the glue on and then put more denim on so that you can see the texture of the denim. I didn't want the denim to be um, glued down. So I did... I'm showing you guys now I did go ahead and use the rhinestone glue because it was easier for some reason it made it stay in place because I guess because it doesn't dry as fast as the nail glue would but um, I still was struggling as you can see but eventually it laid down and yeah you guys did if you guys don't want to go in with a second layer of denim, you don't have to because this would have been enough, but it wasn't enough for me. So now I'm just adding a few more things to bring this set together. I did not do the same exact design as um, she did on Instagram, but I did definitely do the denim. I did get the color theory from her and I did do the two um, ripped denim nails. I got that inspiration from her as well. Um, but everything else, I am just doing how I want them to be. Um, I didn't have some of the rhinestones that she put on there. So I did have to improvise.
So I'll be quite honest, everything else I finished off camera and this is how they came out. And I will give you guys those angles because it wouldn't be a shame to the video without those angles. And again, if you guys have not already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time I post a new video. If you are new, hey boo, welcome to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!